Well, hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Rich Simon Fishing Adventures. Well, if you're like me, you may have run into this situation before. Last week I was fishing in a place, and I decided to use a uh, power bait. Well, they didn't bite on any of these garlic power bait balls. So then I switched to this bait, and I had a lot of luck with the power bait. I tried the same thing recently when I went on a fishing trip and I only caught one fish so I had to change it up. And what's the reason for this? Well, let me show you. Okay folks, so let me tell you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. When you look at this uh, reference here and you see uh, the rainbow trout, which of course we catch a lot of on this show, the brown trout, there's also the golden trout, you can get that into focus, and cutthroat trout. These are all considered trout, and part of the trout or salmonoid family. However, on the other hand, you have the brook trout, which we call the brook trout, which is actually part of the char family, as is the lake trout. So the point here is that different fish have different behaviors. And when we talk about fishing in Massachusetts, I think that these trout that they stock, these rainbow trout, are different species of uh, rainbows. And I think they have some cutthroat in them, and I think they have some golden trout in them, depending upon where you fish. And you'll see that in this episode, where the fish are different colors that are still rainbow trout. So, folks, the reason that I bring that up is when you say you're going trout fishing, you could be fishing for a variety of species of trout. It could be, you know, the fundamental trout, such as the uh, rainbow trout, brown trout, brook trout, or it could be different versions of the rainbow trout. Um, the hatcheries around Massachusetts, they stock different types of rainbow trout. And you'll see in this video that the first trout I caught looked much different than the subsequent ones that I caught. So along with this, you know, those, the trouts that I caught later on were in the water a lot longer, so they weren't going to go for power bait. They were, they've noticed uh, that they can catch flies and eat flies now. Uh, the weather's getting a little bit warmer, so I had to switch it up a little bit. Uh, using the uh, rooster tails uh, and flies to catch these fish because I saw that they were coming up on the surface. So, well, I could talk about trout all day and different uh, trout behaviors, and I'll do so in subsequent episodes, but for right now, let's watch some fishing. There we go, got him. Nice fish. I need a net for him, I can't tell. Where is he? Here he comes. Can tell how big he is. There we go. Got him. Not a bad fish. There we go. First trout of the day. That's a nice, nice rainbow. Let's see here. Nice looking fish. Uh, See how bad he swallowed the hook. Not too bad. I think we can get it out of him and let him go. I think he'll be all right. All right, buddy. I don't have my assistant cameraman with me today, but you can see that's a nice rainbow trout. We got the hook out of him okay. He's going to be just fine. I'll let him go down here, actually. This way you don't have to drop them off of anything. There we go. All right, buddy, go ahead. Go ahead, take off. See you later, buddy. Nice fish. So 
So I'm not really keeping any uh, fish today, folks. Caught some the other day and had a nice dinner. I'll show you the picture here. Uh, trout dinner the other night, it was delicious. But, um, you know, I don't like to eat the same thing every day. Like, who does? You know, I like to mix it up. So I'm not gonna keep any of the fish today. See all my uh, power baits in here. I've been using this green one. Had some pretty good luck with it, but I brought this the other day. And I'm gonna try it now, see if I can get any luck with it. Oh no. Are you all right? You look like you're gonna hit your neck. That's the only reason I came over. I've done it myself many, many times, unfortunately. Dumb ass. No, you're not dumb. That's the trouble he's done that more than once, too. <laughs> as long as you're okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Wow. As you can see folks, that's a nice little, uh, he bit on the uh, rooster tail. And uh, rooster tails folks are great for trout, especially this time of year. I could see these uh, trouts were going towards the, um, flies so uh decided to switch gears a little bit it's a nice fat little trout i'm gonna let him go though it's really pretty see how i hooked him just really really perfect so all right well folks here's this as you can see i hooked this uh this guy pretty good um which means i can let him go safely which is nice sometimes when they take the power bait they swallow it we don't like that because then we can't let them go very safely let me go wash him off real quick i'm gonna show you how pretty he is A beautiful fish, folks. So, we're gonna let him go now. Nice fish on the rooster tail. All right, buddy. You know, if I didn't eat fish the other night, I would eat you, but uh, I wish you luck. Take care. See you. See you again, maybe. You never know. So I saw these uh, trout coming to the surface. I was using um, power bait and I knew they weren't gonna go for that now that they've been in here a little while. Uh, they've gotten a taste of flies as it's getting warmer now. You can see them coming up. And uh, that's, that's their favorite thing to eat. I don't have a fly rod with me, but I got that close enough in the chartreuse. See if I can catch another one.
run. Well, here we go. You can see that's a nice looking fish, folks. Uh, beautiful color on, the, on that fish. Um, man, he's like a brownish, reddish color. He's a, he looks a lot like the other one. They may have came from the same hatchery. Hope still, but hope still. Barely took this, this uh, fly, as you can see here. Barely took it. Sorry, buddy. He's a fat guy, too. Oh, come on, man. Hold still. Hold still, bud. I barely hooked him. I just... There we go. We got a... A little bit of a pierced tongue now, but he'll be all right. Wow, look how fat this guy is. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's another one, folks. You can see, nice looking rainbow trout. Look how pretty he is, as I was saying earlier. Look at the colors on this fish. Look at the top of him, he's like a brownish color. I've never seen one like, well, I probably have, but beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Oh, oh, easy, buddy, easy. Come on, just fine, we're letting you go. As you can see, my uh, GoPro's not working quite the way I wanted it to today, but we'll, we'll get through that. And, uh, no, other way. That way. See you, buddy. Take care. Have a nice night. I thought it was a big one, I just saw hooked him. Mm. It is a big one. Well, this guy got real lucky, folks. Look where I hooked him at, right in the fin. And I was wondering, I thought he was a really, really big fish. This guy's not even gonna have a mark on him. That's the luckiest fish on earth there, look at that. Oh, I shouldn't say the luckiest, but I don't wanna mess up his fin at all, he's gotta swim. Hold still, buddy, oh jeez. Jeez. Hold still, buddy. 
You can see how big he is. God, look at this monster, folks. Oh, that's a fish, folks. <laughs> Look at the mouth on that thing. That's almost like a uh, cutthroat trout. Beautiful fish. Again, I foul hooked him, so he's going to be as healthy as they can be. In the mouth. Look how big that fish is, though. So I'm going to let him go now. As you can see, uh, this is how they reproduce. They, you know, uh, but uh, this guy's healthy. We're letting him go, and he's ready. Go, buddy. Come on. He's a big boy. Put up. It was a good fight. Come on, you're all right. Come on, get some air in you. You're all right. There he goes. You better get out of here before I change my mind. That's a nice fish, folks. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Rick Simon Fishing Adventures. The reason that I brought that up is, is that a lot of times we get stuck on one bait, but you have to mix it up. And carrying the rooster tails in your tackle box will probably add to you catching more fish, especially if you uh, are fishing in streams or areas where trout have been for a while. So thanks for watching that episode. And we'll talk to you on the next one. Have a great day.